right, so welcome back everybody. I know I've been kind of mistreating YouTube. You guys have been blowing it up with subscribers, comments, views, and likes. And I haven't really posted in a while. I've been busy. But I did get the mud truck running last week. Got a new distributor, headers, and a high torque starter. Took it out once or twice. Notice the alternator wasn't charging. So got a alternator here. I also have another one in the truck. Don't know if that one's good or not, or if the other one's good or not, but I figured one out of the two would be good. Got those off of one of the seven motors I've had in this truck already. <laughs> But, anyways, also plan to go to RYC. So I have a weird gear clatter, or like shutter. I don't know what to call it. I've never really had an issue with that. So I am gonna pull the front drive shaft out. Obviously, leave the pinion brake on there, and see if I can get that figured out. But first things first, I guess let's uh, see if the alternator's still bad. I literally haven't touched this truck in so long. Oh. We got volt got voltage. Alright, so also in the meantime, I did get the Holly on this truck rebuilt. And it actually is just about where it needs to be. I think it's a little rich, but who cares? It's not a daily driver. It's just a mud truck, so give her two pumps Hopefully this thing's still good, you know, be right back. All right, new alternator is on. Old one laying on the ground, of course. <laughs> I have every bolt besides one tightened. I just want to make sure it charges before I go. Wasting my time on the one bolt. It took like an hour to tighten. All right, let's see. charge all right so after about five minutes of messing with it figured out i had to use the self-exciting wire on the alternator so i had to rewire all that but now she charges nice right under 14 of course shaft out and try to figure out where this gear chatter or shutter or whatever is coming from so i'm gonna go ahead and get that pulled alternators all set um i believe this is the only thing i have left to do on the truck all right alternators in front drive shaft is out i did find one really bad u-joint but i don't really think that could cause the big uh gear chatter that i have couldn't really, um, the bolts are too long for the yoke, so I had to find some custom spacers. But drive shuts out, I'm gonna get the truck warmed up again and drive it around the block real quick, see if I can figure out, pinpoint where the noise is coming from, so. All right, 
Here we go. Hopefully this thing doesn't let me down. I'm just slow. back from driving the truck um i accidentally ripped a donut in it which wasn't really an accident i just kind of did a burnout which i never knew that it could do a burnout but now we got the pinion brake on the front and these tires on the back you can see where they're wearing down um so alternators in that u-joint was the only problem i am gonna check the timing one last time in the motor because when i put the distributor in i didn't really set the timing and just set it by ear so I'm gonna double check that, set it right, and then probably put the vacuum advance on it. And then that'll be it for this. <laughs> this thing will be offset and ready to go. Um, I do have some more content coming up with this truck specifically. The six liter, the single cab, uh, currently doing an oil cooler on that. Oil cooler housing broke, so it's been like sitting in my driveway for two weeks. But just now waiting on the parts for that, and then I'll be Trying to get more content out to you guys because I've been getting support both on, offline, and on Instagram. So stay tuned.